Hi sewing friends! My name is Alice Murray. Welcome to my channel Mermaid Designs. And what we do on this channel is sew a lot. And I show you something every day and I hope to inspire you to sew more. I know I inspire myself to sew more. So this week we are doing men's shirt refashions. And turns out they're hard. But it also turns out they're fun because it's a very, very, very creative process. You kind of make it up as you go along. At least I do. I'll show you what I did in hopes of inspiring you to maybe do your own refashion. So this is a cute little pinafore. I think this gives my uh, pea picking dress that I, uh, my pea picking pinafore that I showed you uh, a couple weeks ago, I think it gives it a run for its money. So I made this out of a plaid, uh, I think it was an XX, uh, L, X, X, extra, extra large uh, men's shirt. And so what I did is I cut the shirt off um, right about, uh, even with the yoke is what I did. There was a back yoke in it and I cut it off even with the yoke. I cut out the sleeves. I sewed the sides together where the sleeves were. Uh, save the buttons, go all the way down the front. Save the hem, you can see the shirt tail hem on the bottom of this. And then the real fun started. I took the collar and um, separated the, it was a two piece collar, separated the top part of the collar from the bottom part of the collar, sewed it together at the sides, and that's what I made the waistband out of. That worked super good. And then, oh also the first thing I did was I picked off the pocket. It had a chest pocket and I picked that off. Then I took the back yoke and I cut it in half, cut it square, pieced it together to make the bib in the front here. And then I added the, the uh, chest pocket to it. And then for the straps, I took the sleeves and you can see I have the, this is the, um, placket from the sleeve with the placket button from the sleeve and uh, then I just uh, cut it double wide, folded it in half, sewed it together, added another button and added these four buttonholes to my bib section. I then took the uh, leftover sleeve material and made the bit in the back that connects to the skirt and to the straps. Right here. And that I pretty much, I sewed it on and then I uh, had my husband pin it for me so that I would know exactly where to fit it. Uh, I certainly used my sewing dummy a lot for this particular refashion to make sure it was going to fit. I sewed the bib on to the front on this side and this side I have a pin but uh, someday if I ever get to go to a sewing store I'm going to buy a snap and put there because uh, you, you couldn't sew across the middle where the buttons were. It's kind of tight here with the buttons because this is the uh, the button from the collar you know the two-piece collar there's always a button on it so when I sewed that it was very close to the next button on the shirt and if I was to do it again I would 
measure that a little better so that there was a little more space between those two buttons because it is kind of hard to button them up because they are very close together. And then, what is a pinafore without pockets? So I had a little teeny bit of fabric left and what I did with these are, are the uh, cuffs. I took a cuff and uh, cut it in half. You can see it's got the buttons on this side and it's got the, uh, the uh, buttonholes on that side from the cuff and then added a bit of uh, the little bit of fabric I had left to the bottom from the sleeves and just top stitched them on so that I would have two pockets. So they are my pea picking pinafore pockets. Say that three times fast. So this was a very fun refashion. I, uh, it, it, it's really a, quite an interesting process um, for me anyways, because I kind of get an idea in my head what I want to do, and then it's kind of tried on, cut here, so there. Hmm, what piece will I use now? I uh, originally thought when I started these uh, men's shirt refashions that I could make some tutorials. No. No. It took me like the whole day to make it, and it was a whole lot of trying this, picking that out, holding this here, holding this there, trying to see what fit. So, yeah, maybe if I get really good at it, I can do some refashion or some tutorials on it. But hopefully what these videos do is inspire you to try and um, that, uh, you know, gives you some ideas of some different, different things you could try. And in my grateful thread today, I just want to send a shout out to my friend Sandy, who actually was the person that went to the secondhand store and uh, and got these uh, these shirts for me. She did an awesome job. All the shirts were in great shape, and like I said, several of them were new. And um, yeah, I'm learning a lot. I'm having fun, and I hope you are sewing because sewing is truly so much fun. <laughs>